Welcome to 5 Minute School. In today's video, I want to discuss the inhibition of prostaglandin synthesis. So there's quite a few compounds which can inhibit the synthesis of prostaglandins, and we're going to discuss these in today's video. So the first one is cortisol, which is a steroidal anti-inflammatory agent. And what this does is it inhibits phospholipase A2 activity. And because this is inhibited, arachidonic acid, which is the precursor of prostaglandins, isn't made available from the membrane phospholipids. So if you've watched the previous video, you should know where arachidonic is formed. So then, because the inhibition of the phospholipase A2 activity occurs, then arachidonic acid isn't made available from the membrane phospholipids, and this is the precursor of um, prostaglandin H2. The next one I want to talk about is, um, well, a group of them, aspirin, phenylbutazone, and indomethacin, which are all non-steroidal anti-inflammatory agents. And what they do is they inhibit COX-1 and COX-2 activity. And if you've watched the previous video again, you'll know that COX-1 and COX-2 are isoenzymes. They are fatty acid cyclooxygenases, which are present in the PGH synthase enzyme complex. So because these two are inhibited, it prevents the synthesis of prostaglandin H2. So that's what I want to talk about today on the inhibition of prostaglandin synthesis. I hope this video has been useful and thank you very much for watching.